good day so far? Yeah. yeah. A few people. Uh, well, hopefully, this is going to be one of the highlights of your day because uh, we're really hoping you're going to enjoy our presentation. I should do some introductions. Uh, my name is Pam. I'm joined by Lindsay, but we know you are the uh, we are the ones you came to see. You did, of course, come to see our lovely Sealand. So I'd better introduce him. Uh, our Sealand's name is Dante, uh, and he is our middle-aged Sealand at nine years old. <laughs> Uh, so Dante is definitely uh, one of our sea lions who thrives when people give him lots of attention. So if he does impress you throughout this, please feel free to be as loud as you possibly can. I realise there are tons of you here. You're going to get many of uh, these the people. The more <laughs> the uh, Dante will feel appreciated. Uh, so uh, I have got some questions for you as well. And if you know the answers, I really want you to shout out nice and loud so I can hear. Uh, first question, what kind of animal is Dante? Yeah, you've got it. Well done, Adventures. Yes. Uh, you'd be surprised how many people shout out the wrong thing. Lots of people come here and go, oh, look, seals. Yeah, it's embarrassing, isn't it, Dante? Uh, unfortunately, lots of people do make that mistake. Uh, and as you can see, Dante gets quite upset by it because they are different species. So what we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to point out some of the differences between seals and sea lions. And the first one is something quite small. You're going to have to look really closely at the side of Dante's head. Uh, but if you have a look there, you'll see he's got two little things sticking out. We have got them as well. Any guesses what I'm talking about? Yes, yes, well done. Sea lions have sticky out ears. Seals do not. Seals just have little tiny holes in the sides of their head. So, on a seal you wouldn't spot them, but on even on a sea lion like Dante, who's got quite sticky out ears, uh, they're pretty tricky to spot. So, it is much easier to look for something a little bit bigger. And for this one, Adventures, what I need you to do is stick around from the other as we look for sea Wonderful, right? Have a look at how long your arms are. Uh, you can compare them to the person next to you as well, but then you need to compare them to uh, Dante. <laughs> see your flippers? <laughs> Pretty much the same size, aren't they, Adventures? Yep. See, lions do have big, long, strong, powerful front flippers are about the same size as our arms. Whereas the seal's front flipper is only about the same size as our hands, so they can't do that. Uh, they can't even move around the same way that a sea lion can. Because sea lions, they use these big, strong front flippers uh, when they're doing things like swimming around in the water. Uh, Dante actually uses his flippers almost in a flying motion when he's moving. So you can see all that power, all that push is coming from those front flippers. Now seals can't do that. Uh, because seals have much smaller front flippers, you can probably imagine they wouldn't go very fast, would they? Uh, so what a seal does instead is slip, a little bit embarrassing, but it wiggles its bottom, um, just like this, uh, to push itself around. So that's how a seal swims, quite different from how Dante swims. Uh, but there's also a big difference in how they move as well, because on the land, because Dante, you see, can be quick and agile, seals can't. Seals can't rotate their back flippers up under their body like Dante can. So you can see they can lift his stomach off the ground. Uh, quite helpful if you want to do a little bit of dancing like that. Now seals, because they can't rotate their back flippers up under their body, they actually spend their whole lives with their stomachs kind of stuck to the floor. And that means when they try to move... <laughs> you've got an impression, okay. He says he's got an impression of how a seal's going to be. Uh, so they're very low, Dante, and then how they will they move? <laughs> Uh, look a bit like a slug as well, don't they? So this is why we say poor Dante gets a little bit upset when people make that mistake. Uh, now, of course, you can see Dante does love his toys, but he loves something else. He loves his food. Uh, and seals and sea lions actually have the same kind of favourite food. Uh, anybody know what his favourite food is? Of course it is. Yes, it is fish. OK, I'm just holding one out for you. Uh, that's a lovely cake bin for you adventurous. Uh, now, sea lions are uh, here at Chessington, eat a whole variety of different fish. They get capelin, herring, sprats, smelt, mackerel, I could go on. But they also eat things like squid and octopus too. And seals would eat all these same kinds of food. But the other thing that seals and sea lions have in common is actually the threats they face. So out in the wild, seals and sea lions both face a threat from the same predator. Uh, now, predators are animals who like to eat other animals, 
And Dad, so you've already seen he's quite good at impressions, so he does an impression of this predator. If you guess who he's being, you have to shout out really nice and loud for us. Uh, Buzz, Dante, whenever you're ready, take it away with the impression. David Cameron. <laughs> it's a tricky one. What's he being, Ventress? A shark, well done, yes. Uh, it is sharks and killer whales that will hunt down sea lions and seals out in the ocean. So if Dante met one out in the ocean, uh, he would have to make sure he could get away quickly to safety. Now sea lions can actually reach speeds of 25 miles an hour, but they will also swim uh, in the way Dante just showed you briefly there. They jump in and out of the water, changing direction a lot. This is known as porpoising. And it helps them to get away because all the bubbles, all the splashing he's making, especially under the water, that is causing chaos. And hopefully, <laughs> lots of splashes will mean that the shark would get so confused that all the sea lions would get away safely. Because that was just Dante making all of those splashes. Imagine 20 or 30 sea lions swimming like that. It would be absolute chaos. Now, unfortunately, there is another threat that they face out in the wild, and this one isn't as easy for them to swim away from. Uh, unfortunately, the animal that causes them the most problems is one who walks on two legs, and there's quite a lot of them here today. Any guesses who I'm talking about? Aaron. Humans. <laughs> Us. Unfortunately, we do lots of really bad things to the ocean. We pollute the water, we overfish the seas, and we drop a lot of litter that ends up out of the ocean. So sea lions like Dante, they swallow their food whole. So if he sees something like a plastic bag, he might think it's something tasty like a squid, he might swallow it, and then what would happen, Dante? <laughs> oh. He is very dramatic, but unfortunately he is right. Litter is a huge problem to so many species. So of course there is something really simple you can do that will help out all the animals who live in the ocean. And that is to make sure that all your rubbish goes in the right place. Uh, now I'm assuming you all know to put your rubbish in a bin, but if you want to do one better, the best thing you can do for our planet, including the oceans, is actually to recycle as much of your rubbish as possible, just like the lovely Dante there. Now of course there are lots of different charities and organisations that you can help support as well. And we actually have the Chessington Conservation Fund here. Uh, so, if you've driven to the park today, you can't with this, some of the money from your car parking fee does actually go to the CCF. And this allows us to help animals all over the world, um, in the wild and from all across the planet. So hopefully, uh, you'll be able to support us that way. If not, try and do your bit any way possible to help the animals who live out in the oceans. Now this is bringing us towards the end of our presentation. Uh, the lovely Dante will be sticking around with Lindsay and having a bit more fun, so please do stick around and watch that. And there's lots more things going on today, including an Atlantic show at 4 o'clock up in front of Hope's Post Hall on the lawn there, uh, where we will talk to the lovely Dante for some smaller, fluffier animals, so hopefully we'll see you there. And if you've got any questions, of course you can come over and ask us again. We love talking about these animals that we're lucky enough to work with. Uh, but for myself, Lindsay, and of course, so on the show, the lovely Dante. Thank you so much for joining us and enjoy the rest of your day here at Chessington Wilds and Resorts. <laughs>